Hi, my name is Allie McCullough and I'm going to make an Ethiopian meal for you today. We're going to start with my version of injera, then move on to a yutakalit kilkil, which is a gingered vegetable stew, yubesha goman, which is a very traditional greens dish, and then mizarwa, which is a spicy lentil dish. This recipe starts with one cup of garbanzo bean flour. Then I have one teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. Then to that, I like to add about a cup straight away of soda water. I like to stir this together and then add another quarter cup of soda water. We just want to get it to the consistency of pancake batter. Finally, add in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Any vinegar will work, but this is my preference. This is going to partially mimic the flavor of the sourdough. Traditionally, uh, Ethiopian restaurants will use what's called niter kabe, or clarified butter. To make this dish entirely vegan, I like to use coconut oil, virgin if you can find it. And since this recipe is plenty forgiving, just begin spreading it smooth. You want this relatively flat, but if there are puffy sections, it's not a big deal. I like to put a top on this. You don't have to do this, but I find that it makes a spongier bread. This only cooks for about two minutes, and you do not have to flip it. Okay, so this is just about ready. You don't want anything to look wet. This part over here has just a little bit of water that's dropped on it, but the sides will start to pull away just slightly, and you can run a spatula around the edges. I like to make sure that it's plenty loose before I start trying to mess around with it too much. Okay, so then just slide it in. The bottom will be crispy and that's fine. Lay it on a piece of parchment paper and let that steam for just a minute. It will go from being crispy to being nice and soft and pliable. And begin rolling it in on itself. This is my favorite way to store it and if you make a lot of extra, you can freeze it this way and unroll it when you're ready. Okay, so next we're gonna make the Yataklit Kiel Kiel, which is our ginger vegetable stew, and our Yubesha Goman, which is our greens. And both of these dishes start out with one tablespoon of coconut oil. Then we want a teaspoon each of ginger. And for the greens only, we also want a teaspoon of garlic. Just stir these around a little bit and let them start to become fragrant. For our greens, we're also gonna add in just about a cup of chopped red onions. Any onion will do, but I prefer the red onions. Now this one over here is ready for the vegetables. I have the cut up carrots, potatoes, and green beans. Go ahead and dump them all in. Add in your greens, just about a pound of mixed greens. I have um, kale, collard greens, and mustard greens here. And I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. You can taste that later and adjust it as you desire. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of sriracha sauce. This is not actually a traditional Ethiopian uh, condiment, but I like it a lot. If you don't have it, you can just use cayenne. I'm gonna use just about a quarter teaspoon to make my greens nice and spicy. Also add in about a quarter teaspoon of cumin and just a tiny pinch of nutmeg. All right, for the last dish that I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna make miserwatt, which is our lentil stew. Um, we're gonna start with another tablespoon of coconut oil. Then we're gonna take uh, about a tablespoon of garlic and about two teaspoons of ginger. And right away, we're just gonna add in about a cup of chopped red onion. Okay, so now it's time to add in about a cup of red split lentils. Then it's time to add in one small can of tomato paste. All right, then because the vegetable stock has salt in it, I don't salt this until it is all the way done cooking. Otherwise you can wind up with way too much salt in this dish. Now it's time for us to plate everything. This is thickened nicely. And when it is time to eat, you unroll your round, take a little bit, and instead of a fork, there you go. Enjoy your Ethiopian feast.